This video will cover best practices for installing the Microflex wireless access point. There are many things to observe and consider when looking at the room where the Microflex wireless access point will be installed. A good understanding of mounting options, antenna pattern, and antenna placement will help optimize your next installation. The Microflex wireless access point includes a removable mounting bracket. This bracket allows installation on a variety of surfaces, including an electrical box, drywall using appropriate anchors, or wood surfaces using number eight screws. The access point is plenum rated, so mounting in the ceiling is another option. The first thing to consider when choosing a location is the directionality of the antenna. The access point antenna has a cardioid polar pattern. This means that the antennas are most sensitive at the front of the unit and least sensitive at the rear. Always aim the front side toward where the microphones will be used for best RF performance. Ensure there are no obstructions between the access point and the microphones. In particular, avoid any metal objects as they could block the RF signal. The front side of the access point has a reset button and LEDs that indicate power, network audio, and microphone link status. Maintaining access to these will be helpful if you need to troubleshoot the system. Before permanently installing, perform a spectrum scan with the access point mounted temporarily at the proposed installation location. Due to the directionality of the antennas, certain locations may offer better performance than others. Available spectrum is shown in the spectrum scan window of the web interface. This scan data can help determine the maximum number of microphones that can be used in the room. If possible, we recommend letting the access point scan for a full business day. It can store up to 24 hours of scan data without a computer, so you do not need to be present in order to gather spectrum information. Also, perform a walk test with the microphones to verify that adequate RF coverage has been achieved. To perform the walk test, simply turn on the microphones and walk the area where they will be used. While talking, listen for dropouts. Someone can also monitor RF levels using the web interface. Another trick for testing RF range is to observe the LED on the microphone. When the microphone is out of range, the mic LED begins to blink. If the out of range alert is enabled on the access point's web interface, the mic will begin to beep after it has lost communication with the access point for at least 15 seconds. Microflex wireless access points are available in four or eight channel models. If your system requires more than eight channels, you will need to add additional access points. When installing multiple access points, it is best to keep them at least eight feet apart. Microphones should be located closest to their linked access point. When installing access points in adjacent rooms, use the directionality of the antennas to your advantage. Keep the front of the access point aimed at the microphones in the room and the back of the access point where there is maximum rejection pointed towards the adjacent rooms. Minimize transmitter bleed into nearby rooms by setting the RF power to the lowest setting necessary. Since the Microflex wireless systems rely on clock synchronization for both decked band RF operation and Dante digital audio networking, it is essential that all access points are networked together. This will improve RF system performance and may also aid in getting more microphones on air. For more information, visit Shure.com.